Hey guys, it's Stray Bullet here again, and I'm playing Search and Destroy on Summit. Okay, with extended mags, flak jacket, sleight of hand, and ninja, let's do it. Now, today I just wanted to actually kind of, you guys watch the game, just listen, right? You know, like, do what you normally do. Today I really want to talk about gameplay nowadays, and how it's changed since this game came out. A lot of people are camping now, and I'm not a big fan of that. Another thing that it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but it seems like whenever people get used to the game so much, they just start to camp it out, and it just really gets annoying, guys. Like, And yes, I'm using a motion, motion sensor in this game, and I know yeah, you're bad, you're using a motion sensor. I'm just using it because, you know, I, I want to plant the bomb one place, you know, watch the other, so make sure that they're around where they're at and stuff. Anyway, getting back to it. The whole camping issue is really coming up again, and I get in a game, it's like, oh, you're camping, but I'm not camping, and then it's them who are camping, and they, like, don't understand the definition of it or something, so it really does get annoying, and I do understand how you guys feel about that, but it's seriously time to stop the camping and run around, actually do object in objective game modes. What's the point in camping and domination when you're just going to lose all your flags? It's pointless. At least run and get a flag for once. Come on. Like, when I'm playing Demolition, I go for bomb plants. When I'm playing Domination, I go for flag captures. When I'm playing Search and Destroy, I go for bomb plants and make sure that they don't get the bomb. So, why don't we actually start playing objective game modes and doing that? I mean, if you want to camp and free-for-all in Team Deathmatch, be my guest. It's not objective. The objective is to get kills. Do whatever you want, but... What's the point of ca like camping in a game mode that you can't, that you're not gonna win? I mean, it's, you gotta win if you're gonna play. Play to win. Come on, it's not that hard. So my kill death ratio is 1.47 in this game. I don't camp. Uh, and by in the game, I mean Black Ops, not this game that you're watching specifically. But and I don't camp. Like not very much. I mean not excessively, oh, I'm going to sit in the corner for 20 minutes. I definitely don't do that. But I guess I do have moments and stuff where people would consider that I camp, but I really don't. Another thing is I like sniping, but recently I've fell into the whole I don't like to snipe because I can't get a one-hit kill with an L96, and when you're using a gun that's bolt action and really the first shot has to really count, I mean, it's just not worth it. I find the only gun I can get a one-hit kill with now is a PSG, which is really weird, and I don't like that. So, another thing other than the camping and game modes that I wanted to talk about and try to get it out there is Modern Warfare 3 is coming out. And I would really like to hear what you guys have to say about Modern Warfare 3. Uh, leave some comments. Like, leave me some... What What's your favorite thing going to be? That's a question I have for you. What is your favorite thing going to be about Modern Warfare 3? What do you hope is going to be in it? And let me know. Comment it. Just drop it down there. What's going to be your favorite thing in Modern Warfare 3? Is it going to be uh, the MP5 is coming back and the MP5K is also coming back? Like, they're going to have both of them? Is it... The E3 video, uh, the campaign, the multiplayer, the spec ops. What is your, what are you going to be playing the day that it comes out? What are you going to play the most? What game mode are you looking forward to? And so on and so forth. I'd just really like to know. Leave that in a comment. And if you haven't, subscribe already. Then subscribe. That would be really nice. Anyway, so far the game's going good. I hope you're liking it. Uh, I'm pretty sure by the end of this I go 12-1. and 1. I'm pretty sure that's the score of it. Anyway, I was just playing this with a couple of friends, and I put it in my theater and recorded it just, you know, to put a new video up, because I haven't done that in a while, and I know that you guys are like, yeah, oh, well, you know, we want a new video, because yeah, I haven't posted anything in a while, I just want to let you guys know that I'm still here, and I'm still doing stuff. I had to fix my uh, capture card, it was a little bit of a problem, I had to reset my computer, and I lost all my programs and stuff, I finally got them all back, so don't worry, more videos are definitely going to come, I like doing the commentaries, I hope you guys like them. Uh, so, let's just watch the game for a second and see what's going on. I like this map. Summit is definitely the best map in the game for me. I like Summit and Firing Range. I don't mind Nuketown, you know, small maps. You get a lot of kills, you get a lot of deaths. It's just part of the whole thing, so I'm not too worried about it. 
So, my favorite submachine gun now is definitely the MP5K. I've been enjoying it a lot in the past little while, and I just, like, prestiged again, so I'm going to use that for most of my prestige. I'm pretty sure I'm getting a golden whenever I hit get another, like, 20,000 credits, which I'll probably have today. But anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoy the commentaries, and I'll keep them coming. I have no problem with it. I love it. So, another thing about this game that I was really hoping is what do you guys think of the map packs? I would, you can comment on, leave a comment here again about it. What's, what map pack is your favorite? Is it the first strike, the escalation, or the annihilation? And, you know, you can talk about the zombies. I love the zombies. I do. I really do. Uh, Call of the Dead was a little bit off to me. You know, like the whole, oh, you gotta kill, uh, George A. Romero, but yet he comes back. That really annoyed me. And, uh, another big one is, you're not playing as the original characters, so it kind of takes away from the storyline. But anyway, just let me know what your favorite map pack is and why. Just, like, personally, I like the Annihilation map pack, but I do like the Escalation. So, personally to me, Escalation is my favorite. That's all I can really say. Now, the first strike wasn't too bad. Um, I'm not a big fan of, like, Berlin Wall, though. That's I don't really like that map at all. I like Stockpile and Zoo. Those are really good. Um, Hangar 18 is pretty cool, you know, based on Area 51, that's pretty decent, I like that, I think they should turn that into a zombie map, that'd be pretty cool, but yeah, so anyway, here the game goes, and I got most of the stuff out that I wanted to say, please comment, rate, subscribe, leave a couple comments on the commentary, thank you, see you later.